Hey everyone, when it comes to visual effects and animation storage systems, the use case is very unique and very extreme. Let's talk about it right now. On a cup of Joe. Over the next week or so, you're going to see me rolling out a series of videos. This is a studio storage series of videos where I'm going to be talking about each vendor's solution to visual effects and animation studios needs. They are very unique, like I've said, and only a handful of vendors out there really service the needs well for medium and large visual effects and animation studios. There are also some options to sort of roll your own that I'd like to go into. So you're gonna see these come out. This is also in support of the upcoming Birds of a Feather conversation I'm gonna be having at Seagraph. Uh, this is actually gonna be happening the week before Seagraph starts. It's a virtual only session. I'll put the information in the description, but we're gonna be talking about studio storage it's very much related to the other birds of a feather happening the previous day called render farming. Render farms and storage go together like peanut butter and jelly. In each video, I'll try to use the same point of reference for three different studio sizes. At the large end, we've got a large studio that'll have 500 to 1,000 artists, five plus projects, maybe 3,000 render servers and 200,000 cores. Their storage is gonna definitely exceed a petabyte. We'll look at that large studio solution as a major template, but we also want to look at the small and medium sized studios and talk about how a studio might grow through those stages. I actually did a video on studio growth not too long ago, talking about the type of mindset you need to have to take your studio from small to medium to large in a prepared uh, methodical way. Try to keep in context the sheer load that these storage systems must take on. If you're a large studio, you might have as many as 4,000 hosts and 10,000 concurrent render jobs all accessing the same files. You've, you'll have all these artists that will be accessing the same texture files and other cache files at the same time as all the render farm, all hitting the same small number of files. It's quite the load and you can't just plug in more USB drives to make it work. So make sure you subscribe, and that way, as I publish the videos over the week, they'll end up in your feed. Make sure you check back. You'll see us talking about a bunch of different vendors, including Dell PowerScale, formerly known as Isilon, NetApp, Cumulo, Vast Data, Pixit Media, and I'm hoping to visit some Roll Your Own solutions where studios build their storage systems from commodity disk. So make sure you subscribe and you can follow my journey as I talk to all the different vendors about how they're going to help visual effects and animation companies succeed at making the next generation of film and animated features. Thanks everyone.